Morning, welcome back to another video, another vlog. Today, this morning, in a, in a minute, I'm gonna be attempting my first ever ramp test. And I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea what to expect. I wasn't planning on doing it on my first proper session on Zwift. However, I thought if I wanted to do training properly, I think getting this out of the way, especially after having a week off training, it's a good time to do it so that I can start programming better. I know exactly what my FTP is, how to do my workouts and just work it around that. So I'm feeling quite unfit. I'm feeling quite nervous because like I said, I've got absolutely no idea what to expect, but I am doing the easier one on Zwift. So I think it's around 40 minutes. It's the ramp test light. And yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it. So I've got my, got my electrolytes here and I've also got this gel. Um, which apparently is lethal. So I think that might come in handy if I get a little bit knackered towards the end. So let's just get straight onto it. Um, like I said, I've got absolutely no idea what to expect. I'll probably film most of this on the GoPro because it's just there and easier to, to get. But yeah, let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> so long to go it's not fun it's one of the worst things I've ever done oh my god oh, I've got a lot of training to do a lot of training to do I need a fan oh, oh my legs are toast come on sit here Let's get to 200. Let's get to 200. Oh. Uh. Legs. My legs. Oh, I'm done. I am toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm done. Right. First FTP test completed. And that was by far one of the hardest things I think I have ever done, uh, especially after a week off training as well. Like that, that threw me. And I, I don't know if it's something to do with the erg mode. I'm, I'm completely new to all this, so I don't know if it's something to do with that or we haven't set up the turbo properly. But starting, like stopping for like a little, like a bit, then getting restarted again or like messing with the gears, is so hard to, to take off again. And I don't know if it's just like the erg mode resetting or what if you, if you know please let me know and um, but that was the hardest part so it completely like ruined like any momentum that i had because i couldn't physically push the pedals to get back into it um i would have liked to have completed it up to the 250 and um, i got to 210 uh which i'm like fairly happy with but yeah i don't know it's just it's good to have that kind of base to see where I'm at, see what my FTP is at right now, and then I can start doing more proper training around it. Um, like, because like obviously with Zwift, you can, it works like your zone two and stuff like that. So it means that on more easier rides, I've got like the right kind of idea of how, uh, how fast I should be going and power and, and all of that. But yeah, I am pretty out of breath and pretty fried. Um, but like somewhere deep down, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, it's been a while since I've tested anything, to be honest. I've only ever tested one rep max in the gym. I'm not doing anything test-wise. Fitness, like I'm not testing my runs for a while. Um, obviously I've never tested my bike ever. So yeah, it was good. It was good. Just in a 10 minute cool down now. Um, then I'm probably gonna have to eat some carbs, do some stretching. 
and then have a look at the data and this will work out my training from there to be honest but yeah I don't know quite happy with it really I think from what I saw my FTP was around 130 I'd like it to be higher than that obviously um, but now I can work on increasing that so the next time I do an FTP test in a few weeks like six weeks four to six weeks I know what to aim for I know what to beat and I'll be more used to Zwift and Turbo Trainer and stuff like that but I'm going to shut up now I've got six minutes left of this easy ride and then I'll go through everything afterwards right it's been about an hour since I completed my first ever FTP test um, and to be honest other than feeling a little bit tired and a little bit hungry I have eaten and stuff but it I probably could have done more I think just by doing a little bit of research on it I think with the whole FTP test it's not just a case of how good you are at cycling or how powerful you are at cycling it's also about experience with FTP tests and understanding how they work understanding how to pace yourself and stuff like that and considering it was the first time I've actually used the turbo trainer it's the first time I've used Zwift I, I, I'm, I think I probably could have done better so according to Zwift if I go on it um, the FTP test that it's given me, all that, the FTP result, my, my FTP is 137. Um, like I said, if I'm being honest, I think it probably could have been better, but considering I'm new to cycling and I've never done anything like this before, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it could be worse. It could, could definitely be better. Um, so I think the next one I'm going to do in four weeks or four to six weeks and then I'm going to do, well, aim for around 140. So I don't know how easy that'll be, but like I said, I think it's a lot to do with skill as well as power and fitness and, and yeah, stuff like that. So let's go on to my Strava. So apparently I did 12.6K, moving time was 31 minutes, 44, elevation 28 meters, and my average watt power was 105 watts so like i said completely new to this but I'm, I'm enjoying learning about it and i'm enjoying looking at the data that it gives me and to be honest zwift was a lot better than i thought it was going to be i think you know like i said there's a lot for me to get used to but first time not not too bad i'm, I'm pretty happy with my fitness and i'm pretty happy with how it went so you know you've got you've got to look at you've got to take the good things and then learn from the things where you know that you can improve and that's what i'm going to take from that ftp test anyway it's time for food because i am absolutely starving so yeah a nice carby meal and it's like an hour and a half later and i'm absolutely starving again and i think that's something i'm going to talk about in another video because i've learned a lot over the past couple of weeks with all the triathlon training and high volume training and stuff and my body hasn't reacted the best to it. There's a lot to learn. So that's gonna be a completely other topic to talk about probably in the next video. But I am gonna end this video here because there's not really much that needs to be said. And I just wanted to just show you exactly what, what an FTP test involves because it was brutal and it hurt and my, my legs are hurting a little bit. So. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing me suffer. If you did, please drop it a like. It really helps the channel. If you're new or you just haven't done already, please subscribe. And I'll see you probably on Sunday.